Today I'm making a summer feast for friends featuring chilled tomato soup. Now here I have some gorgeous summer tomatoes, three and a half pounds. I've cored them, chopped them coarsely, and they've been sitting with half a teaspoon of salt for about an hour. And the goal of that is to get all that extra juice out. We're gonna add that to the soup, because that's good flavor, but we're gonna let it soak up with some bread. That just makes a really nice uniform textured soup that has the right thickness. So, and then for the juices, just one slice of white sandwich bread really adds a lovely body. It prevents the soup from separating as it chilled, but the crusts don't ever really soften in the soup. So you gotta trim the crusts off. And then we're gonna add the bread right to the tomato juice. But we're gonna soak up the juices and really soften the bread so that it melds really nicely into the soup. All right, we're gonna set this aside for just a minute, let that bread soften. Now, not a lot goes into this soup besides tomatoes, just one shallot, and we're gonna let the blender do most of the work, but we'll give it a head start, peeling and taking off the stem and the tip into the bowl with the tomatoes it goes, and just one clove of garlic. Again, cut it into pieces, add it to the bowl with the tomatoes. All right, now, in goes our soggy bread mixture. And a little bit of sugar, help bring out that sweet tomato flavor, just a teaspoon. Give this a stir. Now we're gonna blend this all up right in the blender in two batches. Here's my blender jar. Add about half of this mixture. Yeah, it looks like half. I'm gonna blend it till it's completely smooth and depending on your blender, it could take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm gonna let it go for about 20 seconds and then I'm gonna drizzle in a little olive oil. I wanna split this olive oil between the two batches. It's five tablespoons of olive oil total. All right, there we go, nice and smooth but to make sure it's absolutely silky, I'm gonna strain it through a fine mesh strainer. Mm. Oh, it smells good. I'm just using a rubber spatula to work the soup right through the strainer. Ladle also works really nicely. Right, you really wanna work as much of the mixture through the strainer as you can, but you can see what's left in the bottom are sort of chunks of tomato skin and pieces of bread that didn't quite dissolve. You know, if you want a nice smooth soup, then taking the time to do this is well worth it. All right, let's scrape this stuff off the bottom. I'm gonna clean out the strainer and we'll do it again. All right, oh, but look how silky smooth that is. Now, before it goes into the fridge to chill, we're gonna flavor it with just a little bit of sherry vinegar. Ah, oh, sherry vinegar and tomato soup. It's kind of a classic. Just about a teaspoon. And we'll season it with salt and pepper. I'm gonna season it both before and after it's chilled because this soup changes dramatically in its seasoning once it's cold. All right, that looks delicious. Now, into the fridge it goes at least two hours, but you could easily make this up to two days ahead. Now, I'm gonna go get the soup from the fridge. All right, now to the soup, we're gonna add some fresh basil and some fresh mint. You want about a tablespoon of mint, add a tablespoon of basil. We're gonna stir this in. Oh, look at that color. Take a little taste. Oh, little salt, little pepper, because those flavors, they really get muted as the soup sits in the fridge. Take a little, fill up a nice little bowl, eh, a little bit more. That's plenty. Garnish it with just a little basil, drizzle of olive oil. Oh yeah. Oh, the fresh flavor of the tomatoes, the little bit of garlic. I love the mint and basil. See you next time. Thanks for watching. What'd you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're excited to cook this week. You can get today's recipes and more for free at our website.